everybody i haven't made a video in a long time just checking in today i'm planting a chirimoya tree take a look big tree in a small pot look how thick the trunk is compared to the to the container i think this is a five gallon container and it's ready to come out it's ready to get planted um, a little bit about the chirimoya it's a special fruit if you've ever had one it's a really delicate rare treat it's a fantastic, absolutely delicious fruit. And uh, let's take a look here. El Bumpo Cherimoya. And if you look right there, it says finest flavor available. That sounds good to me. I want that in my life. Uh, Cherimoyas grow, they need certain certain conditions. They can't, they don't do well in high heat areas. So they can't grow in the desert and they don't do well in high humidity areas either so places that are really swampy cherimoyas don't do so well they need cool buoyant marine air and they need cool nights and summers can't get too hot fortunately for us in this area this is a perfect place to grow cherimoyas and so i'm gonna plant this the leaves are kind of yellowed i think it's because it's been in the pot for too long it's like a probably a nutrient nutrient deficiency so the quicker we get into the ground the better all right guys it's gonna go into the ground let me show you some things i like to do uh at the time of planting here's another sign that this tree needs to get planted look at the roots the roots are trying to break through the pot that's a sure sign it needs to either get put into a new pot or it needs to go into the ground i'll take these roots out because if i don't it'll be hard to take it out of the pot so there it is now look at that root mass this tree has been in this pot for at least two years maybe yeah two years so once it goes in the ground you want to loosen up the roots a little bit let me just test where i'm gonna put it yeah that's a good height actually i want it to be a little bit higher than the soil line because Eventually, after several waterings, the tree will settle down and meet the soil line. So I'm gonna plant this actually a little bit higher, a higher grade. Let me add more soil here. All right, so what I'll do is loosen the roots. These have become pot bound. So you want to loosen the roots so they can easily spread into the soil that you're planting into its new home. So I just do that. This doesn't hurt the tree. The tree's fine. You want to do all sides of the tree too. Just to really loosen it up well. This will help the tree go a lot, grow a lot faster because the roots will spread into the new soil a lot faster. And I do the sides too. I'll do the sides as well. There we go. Cherimoya's root system is not so strong. It doesn't have a deep tap root. So this should be fine. Let me just do a little bit more. There we go. All right, now in. Goes in. There it is. Now watch this video to the end because I'm gonna do some more controversial things to this tree. All right guys, it's in. By the way, native soil only. No compost, no fertilizer, no amendment. Nothing special mixed in with the soil. I spoke with two growers who grow cherimoyas commercially up in Santa Barbara area. They have orchards of cherimoya up there. They have avocado and cherimoya orchards. And I asked both of them and I asked them, what do you guys mix in with your soil at the time of planting? And both of them gave me the same answer, which is, and the answer is that they add absolutely nothing special. No, no organic fertilizer, no compost, nothing. 
they say put the soil, native soil right back into the mix and the tree does fine. Now if you live into, in, in an area where you have heavy clay soils then I recommend you add something because then the drainage won't be so well and the, the tree will struggle. But anything beyond that, uh, planting something like this, you don't need to add anything special. I don't think so. Because this kind of info is coming from people who, who need to grow these things professionally, commercially. commercially. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna do one more thing, controversial thing. A lot of people don't agree on this. Some people do, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this tree, and I'm gonna cut it right here. A few reasons why. This tree is kind of tipping over. There's more leaves on this side than on this side. I'm gonna give this tree some balance. That's one reason. Reason number two is if you saw, the roots were in a pot, but they have to support this whole system here. I want to give the roots a chance to get acclimated and get comfortable in their ground and not have them really think about focusing on supporting this entire trunk system. So uh, to give the roots even playing field, I'm going to remove some of the trunks and the leaves. That's reason number two. And then reason number three is I want to have low branches. I want low branches so I can access the fruit easier. This branch, I can tell it will get very tall. By the way, cherimoyas can reach I've seen cherimoya trees 30, 30 feet tall. I want to keep this tree like 15 feet though. So to get it started, I'll make this cut right here. Right there. And that will accomplish, hopefully it'll accomplish all the things I mentioned. So yes, beyond that, uh, it's been raining heavily these last few days. So I didn't, I, put half I put ha very little water about two gallons of water and mixed it in and that's it uh, oh last thing right now we're in January January this is supposed to be our winter but here I've noticed it's become zone 10 B meaning the temperature doesn't really drop below 35 it hasn't hit the 30s even in, a, in the last five years I think in this area so the message, the point I'm trying to make is that if you live in an area like this, in this kind of zone with this kind of weather, you can plant subtropicals like this in the winter time. Last winter, I planted two jackfruit seedlings and they're doing great. I planted those two jackfruit seedlings in January of last year and right now they're doing really well. I'll show you guys in a video. I'll do, I'm doing a video soon of, uh, I'm going to give you a whole tour of my whole yard out here and I'll show you guys those jackfruits. But beyond that, thank you for watching. As always, subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, and have a great day.